taking a look at the Shuttle Art 174 colored pencil um, set. It's uh, intended as a as a gift set, and you know with Christmas coming, uh, we want to take a look at this and see if this is something that uh, any artist you may know would be interested in. So the set comes with four sharpeners. Um, I have not actually tried these sharpeners. I simply took this out of the overbox that it was in and got it ready here um, to do the video. I would assume that, you know, they're not going to be the highest end sharpeners, but they should be at least functional. It comes with two pencil extenders, and these are for whenever your pencils get down to such short nubs. Um, you can put them in here and pull this collar up to hold them firmly and you can still get use out of those short pencil nubs. Now these um, are actually done in such a way that you've got one end that is for a smaller, thinner pencil and one end for a thicker pencil. Um, I'm not sure which end is going to fit these because I haven't even opened up the, the container yet, but I'm just going to assume that one of them will and the other one you could use on other pencils that you may have in your collection. It comes with the Shuttle Art coloring book and it looks like these images are on both sides of the paper. Pretty standard type of images. A lot of doodles in them. The paper itself is fairly hefty paper. Um, looks like they do have a color testing page, several of them. It also comes with a sketch pad. And it is acid free with a fine tooth. So we'll look at that. It's not a bright white pad. It's slightly ivory colored. But the sheets do feel like they're fairly substantial. Now. Here is the huge box. As you can see, this is a very large tin of pencils. And it is not a hinged tin. It's got some artwork on the inside. And this looks like a, yep, a do-it-yourself color chart. So they have numbers for every one of their pencils and a color name. And the paper that this is on is, is fairly decent too, so I actually uh, I think you could use this for doing your own color chart. Alright, so let's have a look at the pencils themselves. Um, they're in the standard trays. Um, again, these are pretty much what everyone uses uh, in these pencil sets. They're rather flimsy, as you can see. I would not recommend, you know, just arbitrarily trying to walk around with your pencils in these because they will more than likely uh, flex and come out. Now, looking at them, they they appear to be well, fairly good condition. Some of them, you know, the I think that in order to get them in here, they sharpen them and then it looks like they either cut them right off or maybe they only sharpen them just enough to get a little bit of a point on them. Not much of a point. Obviously for using them you probably want to sharpen them again. I tend to like a very fine point on mine. And I'm not seeing that any of these pencils look like they have cracked wood casings. They all look like they are in pretty darn good shape. And no hidden surprises in the bottom. These look like they might actually be some metallic colors here, though. Looks like we've got silver, metallic greens, and blues. Well, let's start putting these back in here, and we are going to just 
do a little test swatch. Let's see, as you can see, look how they're rolling around in here again. You want to be very careful when you're moving your pencils around that you don't end up dumping them out. All right, so let's uh, let's actually try these pencils out on some of their own paper. Well, I can tell you that the the feel of these pencils is very smooth on the paper. They do appear to be very, very, uh, very creamy. Now these are, I believe, a wax-based pencil, not an oil-based pencil. And they do, they do lay down the color very nicely. If we put a little bit of pressure on here. Yes, you can get a good rich color with it. They actually, they, they feel good. They feel like a, a nice, smooth, buttery pencil. I would say that they're, they're close to a Prisma color. Um, since you know most people know what a Prismacolor feels like, um, these are close to it. Not quite as soft, but they do seem to have a pretty good ability to blend over top of one another and a good color lay down. hatch nicely. Now you wouldn't be able to do that kind of just stippling effect with some of the really um, inexpensive pencils that don't really have any color in them. These do appear to be very rich as you can see with the pigment in the pencils. Overall, I, I would say this is a very nice set. Um, it comes with everything that uh, a young artist or even an older artist would be uh, able to get started with on Christmas morning. And I, I would say that uh, although they're not as um, highly pigmented as some of the other brands that I have tried, um, the pigment load is good on these and the feel of the pencil is very smooth. Now, I know that some colors uh, are probably going to inevitably be a little scratchier than others. Um, that just seems to be something that happens with, with these lower end pencil sets, um, just because of the, the variations in the pigment. But, um, you know, you even find some of the Prisma colors that will have a, a scratchy feel to them every now and then again, you get a, a bad pencil with them. So I don't think that that would be anything if you would find it in here that you would, you know, want to give a bad review for these. Um, overall, I think it's a good set of pencils and would make a wonderful gift for anybody on your Christmas list who has an artistic bent.